Pete with Cash Flow Gold here, property 21860 in East Point. We've got a three bedroom uh, brick ranch, finished basement, detached garage. You see the roof is very solid, very good shape. Nice brick home, lots of curb appeal. Just got to touch up a little bit of that landscaping there. And take you around. See, we are on the corner lot. It's the side of the house here. We've got a nice fenced yard. Still needed some cosmetic uh, updating. There's a garage there. So you see, got the uh, roof is in good shape there as well. Just need to uh, do some minor repairs to the gutters. A little bit of brickwork there in the front. In the back of the house there. You see, they got the little sun porch there, which uh, I had to do some updating to and repair some of the screens and whatnot on there. There's a central area unit that will have to be tested. Make sure that's operable. Nice fenced yard, two and a half car garage. Get a nice gate there. I'll go inside and show you the interior. It's a $900 a month house. Easily. Three bedroom brick ranch, finished basement. Is there any reason we can't get $900 a month rent? So we got the nice leaded glass uh, front door. Go in, you'll see uh, the living room here. Again, just need some cosmetic updates throughout. Uh, definitely have to touch up the walls and paint. And replace uh, some of these moldings where needed. Uh, some of these the windows have to be touched up. There's some broken glass, but they have that uh, repaired. You reglaze the windows, paint where needed. But uh, this carpet will have to come up. And I will show you when we get into the bedrooms. I basically have two options and the cost is going to be about the same. Either uh, replace the carpet or if the hardwood underneath looks as good as it does in the one bedroom, we can go with the hardwood. There's the front closet. Again, just need some paint here in the flooring. Go down the hallway here, hall closet. Bedroom number one. This carpet's all uh, stained and Looks like the original carpet needs to be stretched. It can't be repaired, so it's definitely going to have to come out. But here in the bedroom, number one. Again, we need some fresh paint. There's a closet there. Touch up the walls. And bedroom number two. More of the same. Paint and carpet. I will test all the electrical. Replace any outlets. Plugs need to be uh, replaced or updated. Nice tall closet here. And these are the hardwood floors, and you'll see in the third bedroom as well. If that's what they look like underneath. Then our best bet may be is to bring this carpet up and refinish the hardwood. And this is back what I'm talking about here. It looks like they already did it at some point here in this room. But that's how they look underneath, and that'll probably be our best bet. This is bedroom number three. Pretty much more of the same. Paint. Uh, we're missing some closet doors, no big deal. Bathroom closet here. Or pantry, or not pantry. It's the hall closet. Uh, bathroom here. Pretty good shape. Um, vanity's in good shape. It's going to need to be cleaned up. We'll paint, throw a new light fixture up there, replace that. Test all the plumbing. And clean this uh, tub up real good. Caulk, refinish the ceramic if needed. And again, just take care of the paint in here. Pretty solid bathroom. Floors, we'll see how they look if they uh, if we clean them up. If not, we can replace those with new tile. Kitchen. Floor looks solid, we're just going to have to refinish all these cabinets. Um, and take a look at this countertop here. Maybe it will save that. If not, we'll replace the uh, the countertop. We can refinish all these cabinets, make them look brand new. Test that dishwasher. If it works, we'll keep it. If not, put a new one in here. Uppers, same thing. We'll put a uh, standard light fixture in there and repaint uh, everything here. Do have an outlet there. We'll probably have to run a gas line for the. Um, for the stove, we like to give them uh, the option, either electric or gas stove, so we can install a gas line there, so they have both. Again, update all these outlets, the switches. 
This is the rear entry here. Again, we've got a real nice door here. Go ahead and clean that up, maybe paint it. We're gonna need a little bit of work out here in this back porch. It was definitely worth uh, salvaging. Put a new storm door there. Replace these screens, do any repairs that are needed. Float these uh, cracks back here. Again, we'll just spruce this all up, throw a new light fixture up there. Definitely worth saving. Go down to the basement. Again, to paint everything throughout. Basement carpet is in solid shape and it is a basement, so we can go ahead and steam clean the uh, carpets down here and keep them. Let's see if I can get some lights on here for us. There we go. Nice finished walls. Clean those up, paint them. You see, you do have a bar down here. It's not a wet bar, but it is a bar. It's good for entertainment. We'll test all the electrical, update anything needs to be updated. Nice uh, ceramic countertop. Panel walls back there. And uh, we'll probably just remove this, uh, this cheap accordion door here. There's really no need for it. Just remove that and walk right into this room here. Um, Got some lots of storage down here as well. Lots of closet space, additional storage. Here's your water meter closet there. Any missing or damaged uh, ceiling tiles, we'll replace those as well. Spruce it up down here. And in the other section of the uh, basement, I guess like the laundry and furnace area, we'll go ahead and, because uh, they're already missing quite a few, scrape all these tiles up, get rid of them. And we will uh, paint the floors like a solid utility gray. <clears throat> Hot water tank furnace will be tested by a licensed uh, technician. As well as the central air. Make sure everything's up to code and serviceable. Plumbing all appears to be intact. But we'll definitely test all that as well. And we do have a bathroom down here. That uh, we can go ahead and I'll just show you from the outside unfinished walls. So we can go ahead and throw some paneling up there so we can finish that off and be another full bath down here. We already have the plumbing ran. Just have to throw a new light fixture up there. We got a toilet, vanity, and stand-up shower. Spruce all this up. We got another full bath down here. Laundry tub. Solid as long as it doesn't leak. We can go ahead and clean this up, paint it, make it look brand new. Again, take care of the floor down here. We already have updated electrical, which is a definite plus. So we shouldn't have any issues there at the panel. And uh, just give you a quick peek here. This is behind the bar. Again, it's not a wet bar, but still definitely a nice feature for entertaining. And this door here takes us right back out front. So we got a solid three bedroom brick home, finished basement. Easy 900 a month rent here in East Point. It's on the market for $34,900. In need of a medium rehab, mostly cosmetic uh, updates. Pete with Cashflow Gold, thank you.